Hey guys, the AG11 series here, and today I am going to be opening up all the stuff I got at the American Girl place. I went there because actually, um, I don't know when this is going up, but the 25th of February was my 16th birthday, so we went and we went and got like we went to the cafe and we get went and did the cool thing and we had a little thing and it was pretty cool and it was pretty fun. So we went and we did the whole nine yards and we had we didn't have a birthday like cake or anything. It was just like fancy celebration with me and my parents. It was so much fun. But I also bought a bunch of stuff and I and I received a bunch of stuff because it was my birthday. Well, not a bunch of stuff. Here's the thing. I didn't pay for the dolls, but I did pay for like the items I got. I got both of the dolls as gifts from my uncle and my mom which I'm grateful for. Okay, we're getting into this. This is actually the free gift that they gave out during um, last the weekend she came out. But um, a personal sh shopper, we ran into a personal shopper and she said, oh, you have a bunch of stuff. Let me just give this to you. And I bought, I, I bought only stuff from Tenny's collection. Here we have Tenny's little shirt and some silica gel, of course. There's always got to be silica gel involved. So here's Tenny's little shirt. It's fairly adorable. I'm surprised it doesn't say girl of the year on it because that's really what she is. <laughs> so, first the thing that I actually paid for. Well, I honestly have no idea if this is in focus and honestly I'm completely okay with it not being in focus at this point because I just want to open everything because I just got back from a long day of fun. So I got Tenny's banjo set and I thought it'd be really fun because I don't have a doll banjo. Obviously, I mean... <laughs> It's not really something that's common to have. I already have a guitar, and I already have, like, the old guitar, the Just Like You guitar. And I prefer that because, well, it's it's not bright blue. Here we have Tanny's. Tanny's? It's Tanny, everyone. So here we have her banjo. Okay, I think that's... Else come in here. So apparently there's some adult assembly, but I'm pretty sure this just requires batteries to play the songs, and I don't really care about that. So we're all good. This new packaging is a little weird because I like being able to open up the top, but I'm okay with it. I'm a little okay with it. I'm not as okay with it if it's all going to be wrapped in plastic. Here we go. What have we got here? We've got a nice little banjo. Sounds like an A. I don't know how to play the banjo. But also these aren't real strings, and <laughs> these are just pieces of plastic. So this is just a close-up of her banjo. It's actually really cute. I liked it in the store, and I wasn't sure I was going to like it, but I'm not even entirely sure if I'm going to use it or not. But I have an idea for a series that involves a lot of music and blah, 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 lots of musical instruments. Okay, so now we have this, whatever this is. I think this is a pick. This is, I guess this is a pick. This is a weird pick, but... It's not as cool as the one that comes with the guitar set, I gotta admit, but it is still a pick. It is a piece of plastic. I'm not happy with this. <laughs> this is a piece of plastic that's co that has a coil at the end that goes that can go onto her finger, which uh, I don't like. But I'm gonna stick that in a bag. So this is her spotlight outfit. I just thought it was really cute. I really love the shirt. I'm going to hope. I hate this packaging, but I love these outfits. So I'm going to hope that there aren't any holes in it. So if a company that sells me this for $36 has holes in their packaging, I'm going to call them and I'm going to say, I have a problem with this. I figured it out. That wasn't very hard. And now we do this. And oh, so here, in case you guys didn't know what this packaging looks like. So let's get into this. This shouldn't be too terribly difficult. Clothes are tied on. Okay, well, I'm going to have to be a little more careful than I wanted to. But we're taking apart the packaging. Screw the packaging. This packaging sucks. So these are adorable. You can't really see it in this light, but these are so, like in the light of the store, it was so pretty. All the sparkles. I love sparkles, if you couldn't tell. Adorable little country boots. I can cover this up if I want to ever use them in film. The same type of glitter that's on the shoes is on this headband, which is so cute. I never put my dolls in like headwear, but this is adorable. Okay, then we have this skirt, which is also nice and sparkly. This is, has a lot of sparkles, I've noticed. And then we have this shirt, which is actually the reason why I bought it. So yes, I bought, I paid for a $36 shirt, everyone. Here's a shirt. Um, it's nice, it's nice, it's nice, it's nice. It's got a nice, little, nice little thing. No, no apparent holes. This, so I guess we're good. I guess we're fine. But it's a cute shirt. It is an adorable shirt. I think I definitely gotta recommend this outfit. The picnic outfit. 
I almost actually got the picnic set, but I felt like I was never going to use it, which is probably accurate because, I mean, I love doll food as much as the next guy, but like, hmm, I don't know when I'm going to use that. I have to buy something with a purpose in using it. Like, I even buy dolls with a pur purpose of using them. Like, I think of characters that I can use them for. That's a problem, I think. Let's just rip the- I've given up on the tape thing. Analyze the back. Okay, I don't see any tape, which is good. I appreciate no tape. So here are, I think these are just like fake little moccasins or something. I don't know, they're really cute. I, I appreciate the detail that went into these. I'm not a big fan of the packaging, like, it's good. It's just, it's not great. Then we have these adorable little shorts. So this is actually like a working belt, I guess, I think. No, it's sewed in, but you can like, you can put it in the first strap and you can tie it off in a little bow. Oh, these don't say Tenny on them either. Okay, good, because if these said Tenny and Gabriella's clothes didn't say Gabriella, I'd be very mad. Okay, these are fake buttons. Fake buttons, everyone. I don't really care, but there we go. Okay, well, that's all for, that's all for now. Bye, guys. I got two dolls. <laughs> I really want to open Logan. So I'm gonna open Logan first. I've got both of them, by the way. Here's Logan in his little box. There he is, sleepy eyes. I actually went through a few. I know I normally don't actually go through the actual dolls themselves, but I felt like it. <laughs> I'm not I'm not opening this on camera. Wow, I'm a good person. I'm a good YouTuber. Slide him right out of there. Now, someone actually said that you're not supposed to cut the dolls out of the packaging. So I'm confused as to how that works. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna try to use no scissors, considering that I don't have scissors. Oh, I get it. Oh, you're supposed to take this and like just take out the loop, right? Unloop it. Oh, I get it. Hey, thank you, commenter. I don't know who you are, but thanks for doing that. You saved me a lot of work. <laughs> oh, his shoe just came off. I'm really excited that there's a boy doll because like customizing's great and everything, but like that's a lot of work. So cute. Oh my god! Like I was a little upset that he that he has the Kai mold, but he's actually very cute. So I'm gonna show you him. So here is Logan. He is actually extremely adorable. I'm just gonna I'm not gonna strip him, but that's kind of what I'm gonna do. But like the thing is, I have two male dolls. Well, I only have one actual boy doll, and then I have another one that wears a boy wig. <laughs> probably a problem and I should get on that. Anyway, I just wanted to see what his underwear looks like. Sorry, look away if you're offended. Though he doesn't actually have a little boxer flap. He's got the same body as everyone else. So, anyone who's complaining, get a life. Um, I think this is actually really cute. What is going on with his butt? I hope that's not what it's supposed to be because his butt is kind of pointy. <laughs> is that how male butts work? I don't know, I, I shouldn't know. So, okay. He is fully clothed and fully adorable. Let me see if I can get, like his eyes are really, a really pretty blue. Yeah, no, his eyes are really pretty. Like they were, no. these things were a lot better in the store because, well, it's a store designed to make you want to buy them. And yeah, it worked. <laughs> but oh my God, he is so cute. I love the little flannel and it works. I really appreciate this doll, like I, this is a very adorable doll. I I support this. <laughs> um, he's, his flannel's nice and cute. He's got a nice little shirt, nice little pants, nice little shoes, nice little boxers. Tennyson Grant. What the heck is the Tennyson thing about anyway? Nice little overview. I'm not really gonna, I'm not gonna bother anymore. I give up. Um, I'm not done. This is doll number 32, everyone. Mm. Well, I didn't do any of that on camera. Has this not been in focus? Nope. Nagling with this thing? Oh my god. Okay, I didn't realize it's so difficult to not cut them out. Okay, so now we have, oh, her hands are, why are her hands tied in but Logan's aren't? That's, I'm triggered. I'm, that's offensive. Let's just get, so she has a little necklace, I think. It's a necklace or a bracelet or something, and it's a book that I have to figure out how to get out. Okay, now I'm going. Oh, well, she is adorable. Her, her head's too tight, but I can't fix that. So we're gonna we're gonna just deal with it. Oh my god. Oh. Well, here is Tenny in 
the hairnet, but she's got her little, I love this jean jacket. I love wearing jean jacket, like jean vests are my favorite thing. And then she's got, well, I don't really like this, but it's, it's cute. I feel like it might fray a little easy, but that's something that we'll find out in time and her shoes are adorable. It's a lot less, it's, not, uh, it's a lot less exciting when they have their hair on a pigtail. So she has this cute little hair tie thing that is actually really adorable. Like, I like this little pin curl, like I feel like it's gonna be hard to like manage just the singular pin curl because all of the other parts of her hair are just gonna blend together. But I think it's really, I think she's really adorable. I kind of don't like the, the top, but I think that could be fixed with retying it tighter, I guess. And oh, right, the hands. I think these hands are actually really nice because you can, well not this hand, this hand specifically. This hand specifically. <laughs> but like, I kind of like how she can hold things because that's, as a person who makes their dolls hold things a lot, it's very helpful. That's about all I gotta say. She's very cute, I love her eyes. And I, I actually really like her freckles and her lip paint. I found one that kind of had less, less shiny features, <laughs> but. She's really cute, and for now, I guess I recommend her. I haven't just got her, but I kind of recommend her because she's really cute. That is everything, so thank you guys so, so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. <coughs> right on time. <laughs> oh,